I've been a part of lots of these deals, but I've never been asked to pay 190 grand for a breeding share. I mean, nobody has. Tell Mr. Chinnery's little girl that she's priced this coat like he's already won I'm the triple him crown. That's a penny Chinnery. Oh, I see. Okay, we, we will call him back later. Thank you. Uh. Dr. Top, please. It's Elizabeth Ham. No disrespect, uh, sir, but if he gets any better, you're going to want to be in on this. I'll do respect, Miss Cherney, but I got a pretty good handle on where I want to be. You could have her give me a call later this afternoon. Right, yes, Mr. Cleaver, it's lots of money. Well, my father used to tell me you got to spend money to make it. Put some thought into it, all righty? Thank you, sir. I'll hold a share for you in case you reconsider. Thank you. how many times they say no. I don't care how many times they tell us we can't do it. I am not giving up. I will not live the rest of my life in regret. We are going to see that horse run and win. And we are going to live rejoicing every day. Amen. Hi, welcome to Finding Home, Breaking Free from Limits audio blog. This is Jolene. Today's blog topic is No Regrets, Live Joyously Now. The film you just saw comes from the movie Secretariat, the story about a famous 1973 Triple Crown winner racehorse and Secretariat's rise to thoroughbred racehorse fame. The movie, in general, is a story of overcoming limits and acting from your own intuition despite what the external conditions appear to be showing you. If you haven't seen the movie, I highly recommend it. It's a great movie for all ages, a truly inspiring story. There are a couple themes that are inspiring in this film clip, but the one that caught my attention the most was Penny Chenery's Secretariat's owner, passionate declaration that to act on outward conditions alone, like people saying no over and over, and against her intuition, would cause regrets. And she adds, and I'm paraphrasing here, that if you're going to go for it, do it wholeheartedly and joyfully. I love this saying, no regrets. And I intend to really mean it when I think it or say it. So that means that no matter what I say or do, I know I did the best I could in that moment, and I accept that and appreciate this moment and every moment forward from now on. When we move into action from our own intuitive nature and not because of outside influences, then to back off because things are not going the way we want them to is to admit that we don't trust ourselves, our own intuitive nature. Although it may very well be true that the outcomes do not turn out the way we expected, when we trust ourselves to act in a manner that best serves us, we must do it without regret and move forward joyously. Do we know for sure that we are acting on our intuition? Can we clearly tell our guidance is from our higher self, our divine and egoless nature? If you're not sure, then you are probably not being guided intuitively, but conditionally. Anxiety, doubt, and uneasiness come from a gap between our divine intuitive nature and our ex external ego nature. In either case, once we have moved forward with our action, we must jump on that wagon of action and own it. 
lamenting over bad past choices or ruminating on regretful decisions from the past is masochistic self-indulgence. It's not taking accountability for our own actions and it's reinforcing the gap between the ego nature and the divine nature by regretting the decisions made by some external persuasions. Carrying around a bag full of regrets may seem like taking on accountability for our past mistakes, but really regret is a method to place blame on a part of ourselves that we feel we have very little control over. To regret is to not even trust ourself. It's an internal conflict with our projected personalities. Having outcomes that are outside of our predictions or that might even be labeled bad are still the outcomes and whether our initial direction came intuitively or from the ego the results must be considered a pathway to higher learning and accepted joyfully in the film secretariat penny decides to push on to get the money needed to finance the career of this beautiful animal clearly we get the impression that her intuition was divinely inspired. But let's say that despite her passion to move on, that the end result was that the horse loses anyway and Penny loses her farm as well. Then this too must be accepted joyfully. Perhaps without this occurring, just as it did, she might have not done some other amazing things with her career, family, or her peace of mind. We just cannot know. And this not knowing is what our ego uses to keep our beliefs and actions within the limits of known outcomes only, within our past experiences. This is the little voice in your head that says you should not go outside the boundaries on known or predictable outcomes because it's risky. But logically, if we think about it, no matter what drives our decisions, there is no outcome that can really be known because it hasn't happened yet. We really just cannot know. And so our tendency is to stay on the path of least risk to our ego, despite our intuition to take a risk. What you can know, however, is the fullness we experience in our lives when we act by listening with our open hearts and minds to the intuition we have that feels right in every respect. The outcomes may not be as expected, but the ability to let go of our external conditions and ego's influences leaves open infinite possibilities of experiences in our lives. Learning to live in the flow of our intuition takes tremendous courage at times when the ego nature, nature drives us to stay within the boundaries of its own control, which can only be, be within the ego's presumed known outcomes. Listen with a still mind and an open heart. Ask yourself a few questions before making the decision to flush out a potential ego-driven impulse. Does your action feel right? free of doubt and anxiety, then go for it. Do not ever regret the actions that you take. If necessary, because you may inadvertently hurt someone or some situation, then listen for the next best steps to repair or resolve the issues. Take your next best step and then the next and so on. Regret is a waste of time and directs the emotion or feelings back to you. Poor me. Living in the divine flow of your intuitive nature keeps life opening and growth is the natural outcome. Keep moving joyfully. Never give up on your intuition and the decisions you make from it. Just one step at a time. No regrets and do it joyously.